Hey everybody, Shoe here. With camping season uh, actually starting to open back up and the stay at home is being lifted and everything, figure I'd make a video on one of the subjects that I get asked about a lot when we go hiking and camping. And that's the knots that I use. So I figure I'm just gonna make a quick little video of some of the knots I use and what they're used for and everything else. So, Hope you enjoy it and hope you uh hope you learn something new. So stay tuned, stand by. Alright. Today I'm gonna show you the uh trucker's hitch. This is a very, very versatile knot set up to use. It's great for cinching down loads, like if you're if you have something in the back of your pickup truck, in the trailer, whatever. And it's also great if you're running a line for a tarp. Like if you if you're going to set up a tent, this is this is a very versatile system. Three ways that I do it that, that I mostly get asked about is the first one. Get some slack here. First one is the slip knot. Very, very simple. Fold over, grab your adjusting end. This side here is clenched to the tree. You're, gonna, you're just going to make a hoop, pull it through, and there's your slip knot. And if you need any, like, step by step on how to make some of these, right up here is going to be little links you can click on those and it just goes to little individualized tutorials on how to make each knot or at least how I make them then you can get you get the adjusting in we'll just call it adjusting in run it through your loop then pull it tight then grab where you just made the little V at grab that with your two fingers now you can hold on to this thing and you have yourself a nice taut line you can put a tarp over it. if you're strapping something down it'll hold down tight you can always then you can always do half hitches in here and that'll hold it tight the good thing the pros of this type of knot setup is it's very very quick you can do this single-handed and it comes right back out you can literally do this one hand just oop, not bad went around the wrong way I can get this I'm determined now and boom there's your slipknot the cons of this is once the slipknot is made this is set up for light to medium duty or excuse me mostly light duty type of tension because if you pull too tight on this knot it can actually clinch itself down where you're not going to get this back out you can pull this all you want to and once it gets once it gets down to this point it's going to be choked it's going to choke up and it won't be able to come back out so that brings me to the number two. This is gonna this is a medium light to medium duty. It's, it's called the sheep shank. It's a non-binding knot. It's used for shortening up line, but it's also made for if you want to get your if you want to get it back your line back without a knot stuck in it, this is a good one to use. And all of these can be used for setting up tarps, tents, anything like that. The sheep shank, again, click the little icon and you'll go to another one. you get go to the tutorial for this one. There's different ways of tying the sheep shank. Like where you fold it over, you fold it over, you fold it over, all that kind of stuff. The easiest way i found is if you make a, a cow hitch knot, which is just... You get your line, make a hoop, 
fold it over itself and there's your cow hitch all you need to do you want to make sure the line stay on the same side is get your adjusting end make a loop pass your loop through there through through your two first loops then slide back with on your working side while you hold the tight the tied down side you just hold it still work work your adjustment loop back until you, until you get tension on it then you can of course same as the first one run your adjusting your adjusting line through the loop you made and then you pull tight and same again with the half hitches you can even put a slip knot here so if you want to make a quick release now this is great the pros on this is again once you learn how to do the knot it's very very simple it can also be used if you have a if you have a line that you need the line but you need to protect a piece of that you can do you can do the sheep shank and you can actually protect piece of that line just make that the center which again click on the link the cons of this is if you put too much strain on this this can actually come undone okay so which can be a bad thing because this is a non binding it will not tighten up but if you give it slack you just give it a little bit of slack it comes right back out with hardly no pressure at all which brings me to the third one if you need to tighten something seriously down you just get your line what you're going to do is you're going to make make a pretty good size loop on it all it is is get your line bring it like this and on this on the end of your loop just put two fingers through there turn it four times then grab your adjusting line pull it through the loop that you made and with your other hand just walk it back or slide it back in this case until it all comes down and makes a very large slip knot I mean, you can even adjust this loop if you wanted to just by pulling your adjusting end now this knot here this will not tighten down enough where it won't clinch enough where you can't get it back out or I haven't seen it yet and I've used this knot for some heavy duty loads then again of course you get your working end run it through your loop then pull tight and I'm trying to get this thing as much as I can here there you go you got yourself a banjo string and again with this knot all it takes is pulling it and it comes right back out it's capable of handling heavy loads the pros on this very simple and easy to make holds a lot of strength doesn't bind up as doesn't bind up so far that I've seen the cons none that I can actually think of it's a really good really strong knot and it's, it's quick to deploy and quick to retrieve and another knot which I'll show you that since these are all quick release knots same with how I have it strapped to the tree if you ever go camping like at campgrounds and stuff everybody seems to always leave their tent stakes laying around well I usually pick them up because I use them for stuff like this so if you have your line tied off to a tree you simply pull the line comes off 
which I'll show you that right now. Okay, the easiest way of doing this, make a big bend in a rope. Take it around the tree. Just like you're going to do a cow hitch, you're going to do the exact same thing, except for you're not going to pull your tail ends, you're not going to pull it through the loop. You're just going to simply get your tent stake, stick, peg, whatever you're using, just drop it into that loop that you made, then pull it tight. It will not go anywhere. You set up the rest of your rig however you want. When you're done, you simply grab your pin, slide it out, and it comes right undone. And I put a link up there for cow hitch and the cow hitch knot, which are some more pretty handy knots. Another handy knot is called the clove hitch. It's a knot that's made for holding a line or a rope to an object like a handrail, pole, tree. It's very, very quick and simple to make. You just make your line go over, crisscross, and with your tail end, just take it underneath to make a figure eight. Then you just pull it tight, and you have a clove hitch. Remember, you can look up in the whoop, up top corner, right up here somewhere, and there should be a link to a closer step-by-step. -step. This is nice if you have a rail, something that has barriers on both sides, and you need to tie off to it. Now, if you have access to the end of the rail, you can simply make an overhand knot, make a another overhand knot, put the right knot behind the left knot, slide it over your pipe, and then just pull your two ends, and you have a clove hitch. You ever got to this point where you're trying to tie something off that it just won't reach? There's a simple knot you can do if you have a smaller piece of line. This knot is great for tying two pieces of line together of different size if you need to make something reach. The knot is called a sheet bend. It's very simple to do where you can get two different size lines, tie them together to extend this line. All you do is simply make a loop, get your smaller line, run it through, around, and then tuck it right back up under the loop you just took, that you just made. So it's that simple. You pull on your smaller line, work it down, and now that is going to hold no matter what. And if you are and if you're worried about this line slipping, you can always put a basic stopper knot on the end of it, and that will prevent it from going back under itself. So again, if you want another close-up view of this knot, just click up in the corner. Another handy knot is called the cow's hitch. You simply get your line, make a bend, bend it over, fold it together, slide it on to whatever you're trying to attach to, pull your pull your loop up tight, and there you go. If 
you're worried about this end, your shoulder end slipping out, if you're pulling on this one, you can simply just put an overhand knot in it. And now you have a stop knot. So just in case it, it wants to try to go somewhere, it's going to hit that knot and it's going to get stopped. You can also get your tail end, run it behind your first loop, or excuse me, we'll do this a little bit better, run it around and then through your overhand loop that you made, pull it a little bit tight, and then slide it all up and now it's going to lock on itself again that will not go anywhere if you don't have access to the to the center of the or if you don't have slide on access where you can just make it and then slide it on you can also use a cow hitch knot which you simply go with a single line over the top you pass your tail line through your loop that's the first half of your cow hitch knot then you get your tail line and you take it behind and go back through the loop and there's your cow hitch again and all you simply do is slide it up to your item get just give your tail piece a tug tighten it up and you have a cow hitch knot but you can always grab the knot slide back loosen it up if you need to and as soon as you pull on it it tightens itself clinches onto the object hey everybody it's Shu and April here we hope you enjoyed the knot tying video and remember any one of these links up here you can click them and they go to the individual knots so you can actually see how I can make each one of them knots and how you can learn to make those. And I hope it benefited everybody. And if you're out there in one of the still red zones, I hope you're being safe, staying at home, whatever you need to do for yourself and your family. And until next time, we hope to see you on the next video.